angels on assignment. And if you honor the angels in fire as far as a, a knowing it and accepting, you're going to start feeling this angels and seeing the angels. Yeah. And, and the Lord in this hour, I'm telling you, there have been angels that have been released. There are innumerable angels and they've been released on assignment. They hearken to the voice of our word and they're actually working in your life as much to some extent as you will let them. In other words, you can hinder an angel. You can grieve an angel. Angels are grieved by some things they witness. We see that in scripture. And so we want to make sure that we're aware of angels, that we're not grieving them, we're not hindering their work with the words of our mouth and those sorts of things because they're all around us and they want want to help us. They're sent to minister to us, the heirs of salvation. Do you, do you believe, do you believe that we're going to, Jennifer, do you believe that we're, we're going to witness more and more angel visitation? I do, because the Bible speaks of in the last days, he's going to pour out his spirit on all flesh. Yes. Your sons, your daughters will prophesy dreams and visions, signs and wonders in the sky. We're entering an age where supernatural is going to become more pronounced. You know, we saw in the early days of the book of Acts, we saw angels. An angel released Peter from prison. You know, an angel encountered Paul on the sea and gave him a message. We saw all this angelic activity, you know, and we're going to see that and more in the last of the last days, which I believe we're entering into rapidly. How do you discern the presence of God's angels? We talk so much about discerning demons. Yeah. We, we talk not nearly enough about discerning angels. You know, if you can discern a demon, you can discern an angel. You know, where there's angels, and of course we have to be careful to distinguish between the Holy Spirit and angels because they do not replace the Holy Spirit. We worship Jesus Christ. We worship the Father and Him alone. Amen. But we don't ignore the angels. And so, you know, just like Lori discerned an angel, you know, she sensed, when I said that, it, it, when I made that declaration, when I prophesied that to her, faith came because prophecy carries with it the measure of faith to believe it. And so when she received that, she began to discern the angel. And so we just have to be students of the word. We read the word and we ask the Lord. You know, it's not wrong to ask the Lord, Lord, help me see these angels that are around me. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't worship them. We don't exalt them, but they can communicate with us. Angels do speak. They are sending messages to people in the earth today. Is there such a thing as a guardian angel that we talk about all the yes, time? Yes, I do believe that. Now, they debate, you know, do we have one, you know, is one, one specifically assigned to us, or, you know, are they just dispatched according to Psalm 91? They encamp around us. You know, Jesus uh, Jesus said that, you know, these little ones, they behold, you know, the angels be behold the face of the Lord. They're angels. They talked about these little ones. They're angels. He speaks of two angels. So I know that we at least have two angels, each of us, and I believe there are, are many more at our disposal. There are legions of angels at our disposal, companies of angels, armies of angels at our disposal.